Hi, I'm Jeffrey Pickett. Welcome to this edition of Sports Night Overtime. The Stoughton High girls basketball team is tournament bound again for the third straight season. We'll break down their playoff matchup in a moment, but first, let's turn our attention to the wrestling team. Stoughton High wrestler Frank Gerolamo won the Division II state title at the 220-pound weight class. The state meet was held February 21st and 22nd. Brett Layton placed 4th at states in the 113-pound weight class. Rob Moan placed 5th at 160 pounds. Brandon Layton placed 6th at 132 pounds. And Devlin Carroll placed 8th at 120 pounds. The Layton twins won the South sectional title for their respective weight classes the weekend before states. The Stoughton High cheerleading team turned in a strong performance at the Hockamock League competition on February 23rd, earning the squad an invite to the regional tournament. And, after coming in second in the 600-meter event at the Division III Indoor Track Championships, David Lockhart capped an impressive season, finishing 12th overall at States on February 22nd. Back to the girls' basketball team. Stoughton High finished the season 10-9, earning the 12th seed in the Division II South sectional bracket. There are 16 teams in Division II South. Stoughton will travel to Westwood, the 5th seed, on Tuesday, February 25th at 6.30 p.m. Westwood finished the regular season with a 13-7 record. The winner of this opening round game will go on to face the winner of the Foxboro and North Attleboro game in the Division II South quarterfinals. Realistically, when we started the season, we knew it was going to be a tough year. We had lost some key players from last year. Uh, you always set your sights at making tournament, but you know, realistically, when we looked at the schedule, we knew that would be a real tough goal to make, and yet here we are. So, you know, I give the kids a lot of credit. Um, as I said, they every game throughout the season, they've improved. They've really come together as a team. We have great team chemistry. Uh, that there's no selfishness. Whatever it takes on a given night, uh, every night someone's a different star. After falling to rival Oliver Ames on senior night, Stoughton missed out on an opportunity to clinch second place in the Hockamock League's Davenport division, and with it, an automatic berth to the state tournament. At 8-9, and nine, Stoughton needed to finish above 500 to make the tournament, needing wins in its final two games to get there. The Black Knights did just that, beating Holliston 49-29 and Notre Dame Academy 52-45 at the Sharon Classic. Ashley Medeiros... Kayla Motley and Leandra Busby led the Knights in both games. Ah, it's unreal. Um, at the beginning of the season at tryouts, I never thought we would make tournament if we were being real. Uh, I'm really proud of us. We've improved so much since the first game and everything. I think we improved very well, and uh, today we, we balanced it out, and we got, we got the win, and we're just heading to tourney. Um, I think hard work pays off. Um, everyone was working hard during practice, so it leads to games, and then, yeah, we're turning bound. Well, I think the last third of the season, we've really come on strong. The kids have really developed. Uh, we're running good offensive sets. Our defense has really picked it up. So um, the last third of the season, we've played real well. The, um, the home loss to all brains obviously was a tough loss. Uh, we knew we had a chance to get into tournament, and we let that slip through our fingers. But in all honesty, when the game was over, I was very pleased with the way we played, and I felt that that game gave us the confidence to come in here. Uh, we always have tough competition here. Holliston and Notre Dame Academy and Hingham are two very quality teams. So to put together two wins this, this week was going to be tough, but the kids got it out. And, uh, you know, I think they showed exactly what you mentioned, their resiliency. Uh, we had a game plan. They stuck to it. And um, in both games, we had different players come up big for us, but always they play like a team. So I'm real proud of the kids. Thanks for watching this Sports Night Overtime. I'm Jeffrey Pickett.